Hello guys, and welcome back to yet another video. There are tons of settings in Call of Duty Mobile, and making some adjustments in these settings will make you pro player in Battle Royale and Multiplayer, but also there are many settings which are useless and don't know why they still exist in the game. So here are 20 useless settings in Call of Duty Mobile. So let's get started. Number 1. Slide Hint Everybody know during sprinting when you hit crouch button, then this will activate slide, but in basic when you turn on slide hint, and then every time you sprint slide button will replace crouch button in the game. And believe me, it's very useless because nobody wants slide hint option, so turning it off and using basic method is more effective, so it's a useless setting. Number 2. FEP Mode in Battle Royale Every player wants to play TTP mode in Battle Royale game, but still FEP mode is available. This mode is best for multiplayer, but in COD Mobile most of Battle Royale players don't use it, so it's a useless mode in Battle Royale. Number 3. Jump Button Support Setting Usually when you get near obstacle, then you use jump button to cross it, but in basic setting when you turn this setting to on, and now when you get near obstacle, then you have to do same thing as you did when the setting is off. So it's totally a useless setting. Number 4 8x scope zoom. In Battle Royale no 8x zoom optics is available in loadouts, but 8x zoom setting is available in sensitivity setting, so don't know why the setting is still available, because this is useless. Number 5 secondary fire mode. When you turn the setting to on then extra launcher attachment is available for M4, and most of players don't use this attachment in Battle Royale, so it's a useless setting. Number 6. Link Sensitivity with Resolution But before going for setting, many of you players are facing high ping and FPS drop in the game, so I got a solution for it. Check link in description and install the app. This Gear Up Booster app is designed to fix ping problem instantly, because its servers gives low latency and can fix lag and ping problem in the game. So search for Call of Duty Mobile, and I will recommend you to use Middle East Server and click Boost. Now, you can play Call of Duty Mobile on low ping, and this will make your fast movement and fast reactions more like a pro. Now, it's talk about link sensitivity with resolution setting, so when you turn the setting to on then your all sensitivity settings will get crazy and you can't focus on your game, but because this will automatically changes all settings, so instead keep it off and use manual adjustments, so it's also a useless setting. Number 7, Joystick Settings. There is one setting which is important which is fixed joystick, Basically in fixed, the joystick will be fixed to certain position, but when you make setting to off then joystick will appear anywhere on screen. So after the setting, giving these three settings are useless because they will do same thing. Number 8. Split throw button. When you turn the setting to on then no option will be available in battle royale, so it's work in multiplayer. So giving the setting in battle royale is useless. Number 9. Serial bomb. Serial Bomb is now unavailable in loadouts, but its setting is still available, so don't know why it exists. So it's a useless setting. Number 10. Correct Camera from Jump Window Setting. When you turn the setting to on and you jump off the window, then this will correct camera view. But in Battle Royale, no one noticed this small change, which makes this setting useless. Number 11. Weapon Performance Shake Effect. When you turn on all these settings for aim and hip fire, then after this when you fire your camera and recoil will shake a lot and will distract your focus in both aim and hip fire mode. So turn these settings to off to focus on target. So it's also a useless settings. Number 12, first person, depth of field setting. When you turn the setting to on, then after opening scope, small blurry effect can be seen around scope but unnoticeable, so making it off or turning it on is unnoticeable, which will make this setting useless. Number 13. Bullet Trail Effect. When you turn the setting to on, then when you fire, bullets trail can be seen. And this is also for low-end devices, 
but don't know what is use of it during combat. So useless setting. Number 14, Motion Blur. This setting is still not available for most of players, and if in anyone's mobile, the setting is available then make a comment. But for most of us it's also a useless setting. Number 15, Explosion Shake Effect. When you turn this setting to on and throw grenade after explosion, the whole screen will shake. In high-end devices on highest graphic setting, but in low-end device, no changes happen. Either you make setting on or off. This will make setting useless. Number 16, a touch setting. This setting is for accidentally touch the screen. So when you turn the setting to on, it will still make some mess around. So not much effective. Number 17, sync aim FOV to scope zoom. When you turn the setting to on then yes, this will give you wide angle view around scope. But you can't see enemies at distance clear. And also sniper campers hitting in battle royale at distance. So turning it off, because now you can see enemy at distance clear. So it's its useless setting. Number 18, correct camera view from jump window. When you turn the setting to on, then after this, when you jump out off windows, then camera will correct your position. But turning it on or off makes no major difference. So this will make setting useless. Number 19, new jump climb settings. In this new season, they added these settings, but still no setting is working in Battle Royale. So if developers are watching this video, then make these settings active for us until these settings are useless. Number 20, aim FOV curve. When you turn the setting to on then after this, when you open scope, then scope opening animation become more smooth, but this will not help you out in any situation in combat. So better is make this setting to off to open scope quickly, so it's also a useless setting. Number 21, Animation Blend. When you turn the setting to on then weapon switching animation becomes more realistic, and this will also create little blurry effect, but in battlefield, you don't need this setting. So it's also a useless setting. Hope so. This video will help you out in avoiding using these unnecessary settings. So always use and adjust settings which help you out in Battle Royale of Call of Duty Mobile. So if you still have any questions and suggestions, then comment me below. If you want to purchase cheap CPs and other Call of Duty Mobile stuff with 100% secure and fast method, then check link in description. Thank and also don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel and hit bell icon to get notifications for my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching this video, if you like this video then like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel.